Hello folks, welcome back to the channel for more Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth today. Good to see you guys in chat, let us start by. Apologies there was no stream on Wednesday, I wasn't feeling too good. And I haven't got too long today, just a pre-warning as I've got some videos I need to make for uh, not gaming YouTube, uh, some other work that I need to do. Which I need to get done before 6, so I'm going to be streaming for probably about an hour and 15, an hour and a half maybe today. We should be able to make some good progress. I'm looking forward to getting back into it. It is going to be a bit of a Good Friday stream. I don't know what the difference is, but I suppose it's just when you stream on Good Friday. So I should say Happy Easter to you all. Before I forget, and I hope you are managing to get some time off work. It is bank holiday today, I believe, in the UK and on Monday. So better to be stuck in playing games than trying to face the motorways going out for uh, a couple of days or whatever, as a lot of people apparently are. Okay, I've just seen who's in chat. We've got quite a few. So I'm just going to give you all a collective hello so we can crack on. Okay, good to see you guys. I hope you enjoy the stream. Let's, uh, yeah, get started, I suppose. Right. Oh, I bet you're tired then, aren't you, Red Mario? You're still streaming quite a bit, though, aren't you? That's something I struggle with. When I'm really tired, I find it hard to stream, if I'm honest. I'm okay at the minute, though, thankfully. Uh, Green Ocean in Thailand. Hello, good to see you. Hey, congratulations, Elijah. I won't ask you about uh, how it was, because it'll probably be hard to, to talk about without spoilers. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Are you going to be playing on hard mode next, or are you taking a break for a bit? Uh, right, I remember we had a bit of a nasty boss fight in these parts, didn't we? A boss fight I didn't particularly enjoy, if I'm honest. It had a really annoying mechanic. Which was, yeah, a bit of a pain to work through, but we did it, so that's good. So let's go ahead now and see what the game has in store for us, shall we? Uh, Aiden in Games, thank you so much for becoming a member. Oh, I'm good, thanks, Dark Swordsman. How are you? I know you're steaming ahead of me in this game, aren't you? Normally, I'm ahead of you, so you've done really well to uh, <laughs> plow ahead. Uh, who's that? I can't see today. Where's? Hello, it's uh, Cletus. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, what's going on? I was going to say, this is very much like FF7. Oh, yeah, still is. Very demanding is Barrett, isn't he? Okay, back to Cloud, it seems. Um, oh, sorry to hear that, Dark Swordsman. Still struggling. Yeah. Uh, sorry, dude. Are you coping all right with work and stuff? Oh, no, Steve. Yeah, I'm not rushing ahead. I'm not rushing ahead. Because once you've beaten it, you've beaten it, haven't you? It's all over then. Yeah, you can play it again. But that first time experience is always unique. Uh, what's going on with the music? Sounds like something from a Sonic the Hedgehog game. Oh, wow, Wes. So, a bit of a quiet night for you, was it, then? Oh, okay, Dark. Does that help you, does it? Do you get, is it important to keep yourself busy, is it? <laughs> Fair enough, Steve. You say that now, but maybe in the future you'll change your mind. And we'll be playing it again. By the way, a little bit of an experiment today, guys. I've set YouTube up in low latency mode. 
okay? I'm hoping this will mean I'll be able to respond to your messages and you will get my response closer as to when you actually send the message rather than the typical 30 second delay that we've been dealing with up until recently, which has just been a bit of a nightmare. Now, the only downside to low latency mode, I, I have the bandwidth to do it, but I think it may affect latency on your end. So if you have a poor connection, you may get buffering. Let me know if you have any issues and I'll have to switch it back. But it would be good for us in terms of interaction if it works. Because as I say, it means there will be much less of a delay. That's good then, Dark. That's good if you can get yourself sorted back on your... Standing back up on your feet again. Um, I don't know, Rich, if I'm going to be getting the Platinum for this game. I'll see what some of the trophies are like. I'm thinking in particular some of the minigame trophies are potentially going to be a bit of a stumbling block, so we'll see. Uh, right, are we okay material-wise? It looks like we are. Oh, well, kind of. Yeah, that'll be... Oh, I suppose I should give Aerith and Red some stuff. Um, yeah, that's right. I don't even know if it's important, actually. We're meeting up with that party, aren't we? And I'll probably switch them around then. Nah, we're going to have enemy encounters. Oh, it's so annoying in this game. Sorting out materia and that. It's such a slow process. Even in Final Fantasy VII, the original Final Fantasy VII, it was a little bit easier. Because you could switch party members really quickly and the like, whereas you can't do that here. Um, oh, Still got no all materia. Right, is that a link slot? It is. Right, let's go and link an AP up there with the healing. I think it's important we get as much healing material as we can, particularly if we can have one for each party member. Um, I don't know, what do we need with this? Poison, I guess. Ward against poison. Yeah, that's right. And then finally, anything to fill up the space here. Uh, innovation. Okay, deprect, deprect, <laughs> deprotect, even or deshell, whatever. Oh, I gifted a membership. Thank you, Adling Games. You're very generous today. That's very kind of you. And to Wes as well. Absolute channel legend. Uh, empowerment. I don't even know how important bravery and faith are in this game. I've not really felt the need to use them so far. Let's just throw some random stuff on here. <laughs> Definitely a healing. I have got enough healing now. One for each party member. At least until the cat joins us later on. Yeah, whatever. That'll do fine. And do we have all weapons maxed out? Yes, for red. Sorry, guys. I know going through the menus here isn't the most fun thing for us to do. But I suppose it's kind of important, isn't it? Okay, we've got a few things for Aerith to learn here. Chrono Aegis. Yeah, whatever. We'll just throw that on for now. What are you going to be losing out on? As long as it's not cure, which it isn't, I think we're good. Okay, that's fine. Hello, Sean. Oh, we will a little later. That's good. Yeah, Magnify was in Remake, wasn't it? That's effectively an all material, isn't it? But just renamed for the uh, Remake games. Ah, oh, no. that That's great to hear, though, Adeline. But no, appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mm, good point, John. Ah, <laughs> oh, do I have a cess on Cloudy? Yes, I do. I don't know why I called him Cloudy. I think we've actually assessed these before anyway. Uh, what is it I need to spam? Chrono... Aegis, which won't do any damage, but at least it will get the ability learned. I'm pretty sure there's a trophy as well, guys, for those of you that care about such things. For mastering all weapon abilities. Cool. 
So I suppose it's kind of important to do. Okay. Valhalla, good afternoon to you. Yeah, I'm trying to get into the habit of doing it now, uh, Elijah. I think I've pretty much got everything assessed, at least for the last couple of regions. I might have to nip back to the grasslands at some point. Um, I feel like we need a ranged attack here to break all those crates. I'm guessing that comes later, doesn't it? No doubt there will be a mini game of some kind because there's more crates down there also. Oh yeah, we're talking about switching the track, so there's definitely a mini game. Oh, of course we're going on the minecart thing, aren't we? Or the train or whatever it is. Ballot was just talking about it. It's definitely different, isn't it, Steve, this music here? Like I said, it, it reminds me of something from a more modern Sonic the Hedgehog game. I mean, the original is the original Valhalla. It will always be the best as far as I'm concerned. You do? But of course. quite possibly a lot of that is tied to nostalgia. Um, I'm sure some people, a lot of people perhaps would prefer remake over the original. I really have enjoyed these games. But yeah, the original, as I say, is the original to me. Always will be the best. Oh, by the way, Red Mario, seeing you in chat, I've noticed that you um, completed Resident Evil, didn't you? So well done on that. On your stream. What are you going to be playing next? Have you decided? Oh, we've got it. Perfect. But I need to be using Red more, starting to understand how he works, because I've neglected him quite a bit so far. Um, his main abilities, I think Sentinel Stance is what sort of synergizes with his main unique attacks. Okay. Okay, so it puts him into a guard. That's pretty good, actually. Once you've enabled that guard thing, you don't have to push any buttons. And it will effectively guard you against all the damage. Sentinel stance. The only thing is you kind of have to stand there <laughs> until you get attacked. But if you know you're going to get attacked, if you time it right, then, yeah, that could be awesome. Okay, I'll have to try that. Oh, where's... Cloud's healing... Why has he not got healing? Well, that's a little bizarre. Okay. I'll have to get him a healing material at some point. Oh, I see, Sean. Oh, you get three... Did you get three magnifying remake? If I remember, you, you only got one or something, didn't you? Which was a bit annoying, or maybe two. Oh, no, I don't think that's a hot take at all, Dad. I think, yeah, like I say, I think a lot of people uh, will. And that even me preferring the original, even I confess that is likely down to nostalgia more than anything else. Um, if anything, then it might be my opinion that's the hot take. I'll tell you what, Steve. I can't get mad at you for having that opinion. I really enjoyed Star Ocean 2 Remake. We had a blast with that on stream, didn't we, Steve? That was a lot of fun. 
I love the fact that you can really overpower the party as well in that game. Yeah, that was probably... Uh, I enjoyed Star Ocean 4, which was the first Star Ocean I ever played when it first came out. But I think Star Ocean 2 Remake, I'd never played Star Ocean 2 before. That was probably my favourite Star Ocean playthrough of all time. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, right, which way am I going? I guess down here. Oh, you're doing Final Fantasy 2 next, Red Mario. Oh, that'd be good then. Oh, we need to sort Aerith's weapon out, don't we? Because we mastered that one ability. Also, I didn't have an ability on here for some reason. Altruistic recovery. Uh, that'll do fine. Eh, whatever, let's just stick Enduring Ward on. That could be pretty good. Right, the final ability I can teach her at the minute is Radiant Ward. Conjure a ward that grants invincibility while casting spells. Okay. Finish off an enemy. This is how we can learn it faster with a standard attack launched from within the ward. Okay, well, if anything, we'll get that manually, I would think. Since I'm going to be learning the ability anyway. Yeah, I think Aerith's wards could be quite powerful if you make the most of them. Oh, that's great, uh, Andre. Good to see you, by the way. Um, I don't know. I can't remember if I've assessed a bomb. I know we fought one, but I can't remember who it was that did so, if they had assessed material or not. Oh, yeah, we did, because I was surprised they didn't have a weakness to ice. That's right. That is weird, isn't it? Bombs should be resistant to fire and have a weakness to ice. This is pretty cool then. The actual ward attacks when I attack with my basic attack. Yeah, I think that's pretty funky. Uh, I'm not sure... How it functions, this particular ward. With ability spells. I need to keep spamming it though, <laughs> unfortunately. To level it up. Uh, what can Cloud do? A little bit of damage here with Snow Flurry, perhaps. Got to be careful because these things do like to explode, don't they? Yep, here it comes. Red 13 can maybe finish this off with a chilling roar. Oh, didn't kill it in time. Oh, yeah, thanks, Elijah. Yeah, I was doing that last time. I don't know why I forgot that. Uh, am I still going the right way? Yes, looks like we need to turn here, unless there's any... Like the yeah, no, I can't disagree, really, Steve. They have been fluffed out a fair bit, haven't they? Is there anything to loot down here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I'm guessing there is because it's a dead end. I've not played Final Fantasy 2 Red Mario, so... No, that will be a new one to me. Oh, I don't think there is anything up here. Unless a chest is just going to spawn out of nowhere. Nope. Yeah, that sounds pretty powerful, Sean. I should have it learned soon as well. It is a big game, Brayden, isn't it? I mean, I'm only in Mount Coral and I'm already 30 hours or nearly 30 hours into the adventure. And bearing in mind, we started outside of Midgar. 
Yeah, it is a hugely massive game. Uh, what do you mean favouring this dad? Do what I could. Should be fine. Are you sure? Like, really sure? Do I have to choose between one of them at this point? Only way out is through. So buckle up, buttercup. Ah, we're back to the previous team. It's my second playthrough, Aaron, but it's my first playthrough where I've got this far. So I haven't done a completed playthrough yet. That's what this one's going to be. I did about, I think about 13 or 14 hours before the game was officially released. And then started it again when it was released for the stream. And that's what I'm doing now. Oh no, the thing is, Dad, I bet the old Final Fantasy games, um, oh, we get to throw both here, do we? Both weapons for Barris and for Yuffie. Um, yeah, the old Final Fantasy games, I'm guessing they don't have a lot of quality of life features that we've come to expect, so I don't know, they might be a little bit awkward to play if you've not played them before. A lot of things we take for granted now just weren't available back then, were they? Uh, shoot Barrett's weapon with square. Triangle for your fizz. Okay. I see. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to break all of these crates, am I? Which I failed at miserably. I'm guessing there's a trophy tied to doing everything here. Wow, it's really hard to get them all, isn't it? Uh, who do I want to take on a date? Probably my wife. Unless you're speaking about Final Fantasy VII. Then... Honestly, I don't care. Because I've not experienced any of them yet. I mean, probably... I don't know. At Tifa and Aerith, I actually don't care. I'll be interested in seeing both of them at some point. And out of the other dates, which are just friendship dates as far as I'm aware. Um, I'll probably get to see them at some point but not until I've at least played through the game one time I'm guessing this is going to be a full-fledged mini game later so I probably don't have to worry too much right now about maxing it out Yeah, they've all been fully fleshed out and taken a little bit more seriously, is my understanding. But I haven't seen any of them, by the way. So I don't know what to expect. Whatever date we get, it will be new to me. I've not seen it. Hello, Jeff. Yeah, my day's going well, thanks. How's your day going? <coughs> Oh, that's an interesting mechanic then, Steve. Yeah, it makes sense as well. That you can do that. Looks like we are at the end. Oh, I see this, Dad. Yeah, 
It sounds like hard mode will be the way to go then because um, I think it was Elijah just mentioned or somebody just mentioned that you can watch them all on hard mode and choose between them which one you want to or which one you want to engage with. Actually, guess Clout didn't feel like completely screwing us over. Crikey, Jeff, 163 hours. That is bonkers. <laughs> what a letdown. Still alive? Miraculously, yeah. <gasps> that would be an interesting challenge, Brayden. I think you'd need to um, take about a six-month holiday from work <laughs> to get that done. Hello, Adrian. Welcome aboard, Junior. Cloud Junior. Oh, goodness me. They've actually called him that. Hey, bye, Bob. We get to steal the. We get to steal something, don't we? From the nest in FF7. And you're supposed to feel guilty about it. Come on. Oh, wow. Yeah, this dad. Let's hope that's fixed by then for sure. Yeah, that's going to be annoying. Um, right, we can now use the grappling hook. That's what Yuffie uses, isn't it? Hey, hi, sir. Uh, I am not I'm guessing this is going to break. Your homecoming? You'll see. No. I think we're okay. <laughs> Yeah, Barrett has his whole story coming up, doesn't he? With dying and what have you. Oh, here we are in North Coral. Nice. That was quite the adventure, wasn't it, to reach here? I'd like to, Aaron, do all of the optional missions if we can. Bit of sarcasm there, was there? Surprised he had the balls to come back, but we're so glad you did. <laughs> there, a hero's welcome. Leave him alone. Oh, well done, Aaron. You've done really well then to get that far. Okay, Red. Yeah, thanks, Heiser. Yeah, it's great to be back with you all. Back in Coral. Oh, Queen's Blood's back as well, is it? I've not done that for a while, have I? I wonder if we can see the gold saucer. We can. Yeah, we can see the gold saucer from here. Just about. And it looks like there's a materia up there. Can you see that, guys? It's like a green glow. So we shall go and start exploring. Get 
Reach itself with what might uh, anything around here first of all oh what was that I just had a little thing was around down here trying to lead me over there but I need to complete some story before we can see what that is I can't chat to our party at the moment. A customer. Don't tell me. Get rich quick scheme blow up in your face again? Try to sell out another town. <laughs> Don't let him talk to you like that. You should email Steve with your suggestion. Just email Steve. Steve, you should email Square <laughs> with your suggestion. See what they say. Okay, bed. Don't worry, mate. We'll explore everywhere. Try and grab all the treasures and chests and what have you. Wow, that's a big gate, isn't it? Oh, it's open. <coughs> Just can't go through it yet. Let me check the map. Okay, I don't think there's a huge amount to do around here. At least not right now. Oh, we've got um, a dog we can play Queen's Blood against. Don't worry, Red Mario. I'm sure we'll find it, mate, once I go that way. Yeah, I'm sure they will, Sean. Ultima and Knights of the Round. Okay. I can't remember what deck we've got set up at the minute in terms of the synergies and what have you. So we'll just try and wing this one. Um, oh, it's been a while since I played Queen's Blood, to be honest with you. Okay, we'll just keep this hand. Um, oh, the Midgar Sauma. We need to try and play that soon if we can, don't we? Um. Oh, this is probably a bad idea. Okay, that wasn't a terrible idea, though. We're going to lose both of those now. Nope. Ouch. 
think we've lost. Yeah. This guy's actually quite strong. For a dog, you've got to admit, he's not easy. <clears throat> not at all. Hey, Cooper Saw. How's it going, mate? It's good to see you. It's always good to see you. I thought, I didn't know you didn't have a PS5, Coupo. Uh, no, we'll keep the crab. Have you been playing anything else of interest of late? Oh, man, this is... Actually, that was probably a terrible thing to do, wasn't it? I think that reduces uh, your card's value, does it? Yeah, I need to restart. That was a bad idea. Hey, QG. Ah, fair enough, Cooper. Nah, it's important, isn't it, work? <laughs> Okay, Chocobo Moogle is a good one to start with. Yeah, it's been a while since I played Queen's Blood. This dog is quite tricky, actually. No, I don't want to do that. That's risky. If he places one in the middle... It's going to steal my green slot, and he has. Ah, uh, stupid pooch. Um, trying to think what the best strategy would be for this guy. Okay, the good thing is we can play the security officer now. I think we're safe to do that. Unless he's got a diagonal card. Doesn't look like it. Okay. I don't mind him taking that one because I think he'll reduce the damage of it. This arch dragon. Yeah, reduce it by three. Uh. I really want to be able to play this one somewhere. But I don't know if we can yet, annoyingly. That'll have to do, I think. Oh, that's awesome, lazy gamer. I'll have to try that one. An enfeeble deck. Uh, right, we're winning on the top. Winning anywhere else is going to be a bit of an issue. So we need to try and max out our points if we can. So we're going to win by five on the top. But this isn't going too well, unfortunately. Um, right, this is a three. That's going to reduce our power, so we can't play that. That's also going to reduce power. Ah! Uh, oh, no, that one's okay. 
Nah, we've lost. We're going to have to face facts. This guy is really hard. Okay, let's try traditional deck one. <laughs> goodbye, 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 goodbye. Oh, what does Titan do? Anything? Raise position ranks by two. Not totally sure what that means, position ranks. Hmm. Interesting. Why have I got the Flame Trooper in my deck? Does that have any point? Probably not. Okay, let's try this. Should at least destroy this guy on the top. Whether that'll give us enough points, I'm not sure. Um... I don't know the best way to do this. Whatever. Alright, we'll have to leave it there, see what we get. We've won by 11 points on the top unless he puts some expensive cards down. Uh, right, yeah, cannot play any cards. A chance we might win here. It depends how much he beats us by on the top row. Oh, sorry, in the middle row. Ah, six. So he's beating us by seven. Uh, I don't think we can do anything. I think we've lost. Nope, we've won by two. For some reason, he couldn't play anything on his two top red port. Oh, no, we lost. This guy is really, really hard. I'm going to give it one more go, and then I'm just going to take a break from uh, Queen's Blood, at least against this fox. Oh, okay, Koopo. Have you been playing Diablo 4? Because I've seen that uh, Blizzard are... I did not mean to do that. Blizzard are revamping all the itemization. So it should be quite a bit more fun, in theory. Okay, lazy gamer. This will be my last effort against this dog. If it doesn't work, we'll come back later. Ouch. Okay, that puts us on a level playing field on the middle though. Um, the good thing is that's a four-pointer.
Now let's try this. I need my three cards. Desperately. We didn't get it though. Which sucks. Really needed it. Ugh. Okay, I think we might have this, you know, guys. Uh, yes, that will win down there, but then so will this, actually. Yeah, it looks like we've won on every row. Nice! That's how it's done. Oh, fair enough, Koopo. Yeah, no, Diablo 2 is one of the classics, so. Yeah, I'm with you there. I do love that game. It's probably the game I've played the most of. Maybe outside of World of Warcraft in my life, Diablo 2. I don't think I've got that card yet, Steve. I've still pretty much only got basic cards, is the annoying thing for Queen's Blood. So yeah, maybe I need to come back now later to do more of the Queen's Blood stuff. Cheers, guys. Hello, Stan. How you doing? Yeah, we've got another player over there, but I think I'm just going to leave that guy for now. Uh, right, has Chadley got anything new for us here? Maybe a new summon or something. Oh, have you got that now, have you, this dad? It can't be that far off then, can it, for me? Uh, gravity, I've not got a gravity yet. HP absorption. Allows you to recover HP while uh, unleashing an attack of the linked materials type. What does that mean, of the linked materials type? Does it mean, like, you have to do fire or fire or fire regard if you have a fire material equipped? I don't know, but we'll get one. Get one of each. Allows an ally to automatically use weapon abilities when not actively controlled. I mean, yeah. I suppose I should get two of them. Since we can put them on two party members. But, again, the main problem with those sorts of auto abilities is your party members that you are not controlling just don't gain ATB very quickly at all in this game. I'm sure it was faster in Remake. Oh, there's a piano. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you, Stan. Not too bad at all. Okay, Red, I'm not there yet, I don't think. But when I get there, I'll make sure to grab that. Um, right, let's see. I'm not the best at these pianos. And obviously, this is my first time doing this one. So, can't promise this will be good. Let's see how we get on. Oh, hi, darling. Daughter popped in chat. Uh, right, here we go. Select. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've maxed out the first one. I got an A on Tifa's theme. So let's see how we can do on Barrett's theme, shall we? Ah, it's been tuned around those, hasn't it, Steve? That's why it's slower, which is annoying. But I'm going to have to focus on this now, guys, so I won't be chatting for the next minute or two. Okay, no way. I'm restarting that. <laughs> that is tough. That threw me off, that did. That really threw me off.
Thanks for the sub. Is there no restart button? This is like the only mini game where there isn't. Yeah, that was weird, the way that the uh, notes were positioned there. That's why I messed up straight away. Oh, so you need to turn the volume down then, Steve, on hard. Right, here we go. I'll try not to mess this up. <laughs> Oh, I've got a miss. And another one. This is a hard one. Got three miss, four misses. Oh man, this is tough. gonna have to restart this I'll completely mess this one up at least it's not the longest piece What's annoying is the right and left sticks are not timed together, are they? But how do I restart this without having to quit all the way out again? <sighs> wow, rank B. That was awful what I did. How did I get a rank B? We can do better than rank B. Okay. S rank incoming. Okay, maybe not. The notes just do not match the music at all. Or the rhythm, I should say. So confusing. I'm going to restart because I'm missing that first note. I can't miss the first note. <laughs> yes, finishing the piece probably faster than quitting. I think you're right, Steve. <laughs> oh. The rhythm on this just does not match the music. It makes it so confusing. So far, so good. I got a miss.
was that a miss? I did it. And we've still got a couple of notes, if I remember. Okay. <laughs> that was better than my first attempt. Hello, Sage. No idea yet. Somehow I got an A. I don't know how I got an A, but I did. So, I'll... Yeah. I'll live with an A. No, I don't think there's any official information on that at the moment, Sage. Hey, Gerald. Glad they've been of help to you. But we'll see what reward we've picked up. Uh, Wardy materia. What do you do, da? Uh, revive materials in... Yeah, I know that, Red. We've had that conversation, haven't we? Or am I, uh, forgetting things again? We just haven't got it yet. But it's up by the ropeway, you said, on the north exit or something. I thought we've already discussed all that, haven't we? I will get it, Red, I promise, okay? Just haven't got it yet, but we will get it. Um, I don't think there's anything else over here apart from Queen's Blood. And Chadley. But I'm not going to worry about Queen's Blood. But now, because I need to get some better cards. And I'm not going to worry about Chadley. Although I do want to see, actually, if there's another summon. I won't be doing it yet, just out of interest, though. Have you by chance observed the species of bird that likes to gather at Life Springs? It's a new one entirely, which I have taken to calling Spring Seeker Owl. If you ever have trouble locating a Life Spring, I suggest following these creatures. Why is he telling us that now? We've been doing that most of the game. Um, oh yeah, it's Alexander. We already knew about this one. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm not going to even guess this, Dad, because I remember when it came to remake, we all thought it was going to be six months. Do you remember? Because they said there was a six months exclusivity for PS5. And then it turned out to be quite a bit longer, didn't it? Which was a bit annoying. All right, what's going on here? You mind if I pop in for a minute? There's someone I want to see. Hmm. Uh, spoiler, Steve. What you're saying is he doesn't die in part two. <laughs> no, nah, sorry, Red. There was no revived materia. Ah, oh. at least we looked. When I got hurt back in Nibelheim, they brought me to this clinic. The doctor here, Sharon, he's the one who saved my life. Oh. You're telling me Doc Sharon's the one who fixed you up? Come on. Okay, so we're heading in here next, are we? That's true, Steve. How do I know? <laughs> or maybe he dies and comes back. And you're saying maybe he dies again in part three. The mystery. The hell's gotten into you, man. What's going on? Oh, was your paste up that bad, was it, Wes? <laughs> so bad you thought you'd delete Steve's post. <laughs> oh, dear, I know that feeling. <laughs> That's one frightening-looking appendage you got there. But hey, at least you still seem to have your health. Yeah, and you too. Oh, I'm feeling the miles, but the work keeps me trucking. I tell you what, though. Do you remember me? 
I'm going to be honest, Steve. I don't think I've ever watched EastEnders in my life. My mum used to always go on about how trashy EastEnders is and how it's absolute tripe and just a complete waste of anybody's time. And yet she always watched it. I'd be like, why are you watching it? And she'd be like, I don't know. It's absolute trash and rubbish. Ah, no worries, Wes. Thanks, mate. Appreciate you being in chat, actually. Even though I was only kind of like joking with Steve, it wasn't really a spoiler. I appreciate you being red hot on that in case there are some serious spoilers that drop by. Sometimes you get people trolling and stuff, don't you? Besides, you need to set a good example for your friends here. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Steve. Well, I got you. Mind helping me out? Need to draw that gentleman's blood. You think you can hold him still for me? At first, I thought it was just Mako poisoning. That is, until I ran some tests. The results were strange. Strange how? A substance turned up. One I've never seen before. Not sure what to make of it yet, but it didn't remind me of what I have seen. Your eyes. Soldier, right? Tax soldier. It's not a job, son. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Huh. It's fair a drop? No. <laughs> a Cory fan? Steve, I don't watch soaps in any way, shape, or form. I've never been able to understand the appeal of them. They've always bored the pants off me. Not without a lot more testing. You see many of these guys come through? Yeah, and then some. I do what I can for the injured ones, but leave the rest to stumble onto the saucer. Why would they go there? <laughs> Don't ask me. I think it's odd too. Hmm, okay. All right, Red. Yeah, well, I think we'll get there soon. The gold saucer, right? Got to get through this story first. We're every day is a holiday. We're going right. I mean, we have to. Yuppie, this isn't a vacation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't even watch TV, this dad, all that much. I'm one of those. I, I don't even think I have a TV aerial. Well, I've got a TV aerial like, on the roof or in the loft or something, but I haven't got it plugged into anything. Um... I don't watch reality TV. <laughs> um, I, I'm one of those strange people that doesn't even have a Netflix subscription, so. Oh, thanks for another gift membership, Adeline Games. Thank you kindly for that. Um, right, where's the map? There's a side quest here. So we'll see what that is. That's from the place we were just in is it yeah the doctor should we see what this side quest is oh steve please you'll be giving people in my chat we have one of your rogue men high blood pressure will cost you one million gil agree to the terms and we'll take care of the rest what's this beats the hell out of me Guess some fool got up in their head I was making money off my research. You gonna pay up? Look at this place. Can barely afford bandages, never mind a ransom. <laughs> Only option is to save the man myself. Or hire the right Merc to save him for mm, I wonder who that's or going to be. Merc's friend, to be more precise. Hello, Ivan. Yeah, how you been doing? He's got a nose for tracking. One finer than any human could ever possess. Well, I can't argue with you there. <laughs> that was easy. So where do we start? We spoke with some of the neighbors, but they weren't much help. No one saw anything out of the Eyewitnesses are notoriously unreliable, aren't they? You know, could be that the perpetrator threw on a <laughs> Oh, you guys are mean. I am going to get that revive materia. No matter if it's the last thing I do in this world. That is my mission. It is my new philosophy of life. To get the North Coral Revive Materia. How about that? 
I'm not sure, Steve. I can't keep track, really, of what I've got or not got, so I might have it, but I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, look, Red 13's like, come away from the revive materia. Follow me the opposite direction. Well, Welsh Rabbit uh, has more knowledge of my own inventory than I do. Thanks, Welsh Rabbit. Fair, I suppose, yeah. Oh, well, thank you, Ed. Oh, this isn't going to be another follow halfway across the map like it was with that quest in June on, was it? Oh, no, it doesn't look like it. Oh, that might have been quite fortunate then, Welsh Rabbit, if I did. Oh, what's this horrible thing? Um, assess. Inflicting enough damage by exploiting the elemental weakness will pressure them. Inflicting damage during swallow will pressure them. Okay. I don't think I will be, Raiden, no. I think Rebirth's going to be keeping me quite busy for a while. So. I still need to actually play FF16 on the Final Fantasy difficulty mode, which I haven't done yet. Um... Ice Ninjitsu, I think, is probably best here. Throw the weapon! Ah. That's better. These things were a lot bigger in FF7, I've got to say. A lot bigger. Uh, which was the really powerful ability that I was using with Yuffie? I can't remember. Blindside's good, actually. Yeah, I like Blindside. Yeah, you've been really enjoying Final Fantasy mode, haven't you, uh, this dad? I saw some of your fight with Titan, which was utterly bonkers. Uh, what are we looking at here? Fire. Automatically becomes pressured after using Aquatic Bizarre. Bizarre. Okay. Yeah, this is a side quest, Red. Oh, there's another enemy here as well. Sandspitter, but for some reason Assess didn't assess it. Oh, it's because I've only got level 1 assess equips, I think. Okay, we've got the pressure. The Chimera enemies have always been quite challenging, haven't they? In Final Fantasy. And it looks like this is going to be no difference. Oh, I see, Steve. Yeah, I've got the assess earring, so yeah, it should be doing area of effect assessing anyway at this point. Um, right, let's get some healing going. 
if I actually had... Where's my MP gone? I haven't been even using spells with Yuffie or Barrett, have I? I must have had it drained by something, is all I can imagine. Hey, Lavris. Good to see you. Your sense seems to lead straight ahead, but... Oh, that's not good. What? Nothing. Let's continue. Oh. Who's this fella? Different scent. He has nothing to do with the kidnapping. Aw, oh, you must be hungry, huh? Sorry, but this is people food. Yeah, let's blame you off you, Steve. <laughs> Sorry, Whoa, this is people easier. food. I can spare a bite. Uh, not really, Stan, no. I'm not streaming for a long time today anyway, so I've got some work I need to crack on with. But I did want to make some progress. Oh, by the way, guys, I should say, my next stream's probably not going to be until Wednesday, because I think I'm out on the bank holiday Monday. See a guy in a black robe come through? Hmm. Now that you mention it, it was his one hooded fella. With a charcoal <sighs> carriage headed toward a cave nearby. A cave, eh? Skilled tracker. I have one terrible weakness. What? Yeah, being called a pet. My appetite. With this overpowering aroma of meat in the air, I don't think I'll be able to focus on the kidnapper's scent. Okay, this dad. I yeah, I've put off playing Final Fantasy mode. It takes to throw you off your game. Thinking that it's just going to be a little bit excessive. So it's nice to hear that it's at least somewhat manageable. Am I going to need it now, am I? A compound in the robed individual's sweat will fluoresce when exposed to... Okay, we've got the torch. How do I use the torch? When your flashlight is out, use L to shine it. Okay, I guess it comes out automatically. Let's see if I've got a safety bit then, shall we? Does it matter who I give it to? Oh, it doesn't look like I've got a safety bit, unless I'm missing something. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I have. You're right. Thank you, Welsh Rabbit, for pointing this out. Does it matter who you give it to? Give it to Yuffie for now. Oh, okay, Lumina. Have you beaten Final Fantasy mode, have you? Or is it something you're still working on? I'm going to have to take a break now, guys, because it's already coming up to 10 to 4, and I have got quite a bit of stuff I need to crack on with. Um, so I'll be back next week, though. We'll be picking up from here with this interesting-looking side quest, although it's a bit spooky, facing off against this dark cage here. Dark cave, rather. Yeah, cheers, Steve, for that tip. I've got the safety bit equipped now for Yuffie, so at the very least, at least one party member is going to survive whatever attacks are going to inflict death or petrify or the like. It's probably helpful, isn't it, to always have one equipped. But... Guys, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Red Mario, remind me on Monday or Wednesday when I next stream, and we'll grab that revived materia. I did want to get it today. I was only joking when I said I couldn't find it. The problem was the story, and that sort of ushered us in other directions, so we never quite got to reach it. But I will be getting it, okay? Yeah, and you, Heiser. You take care. Yeah, thanks, Wes. I hope you managed to get some uh, time off from work. Sounds like it's all a bit crazy over there for you at the minute. Yeah, cheers, this dad. Yeah, no, it's been great chatting to you guys today. Great catching up. Hope you've enjoyed the stream. I certainly have. 
Yeah, thanks, Dark Swordsman. I hope you feel better soon, mate. And I'm sorry to hear that you've been down. Yeah, I, I do hope that you recover quickly. Yeah, you take care, Stan. Goodbye, everybody. See you soon. Have a good weekend. Bye, bye.